later here I am again at Luxembourg City uh, Central Station and once again I'm off to play uh, French League but this time for the men's team uh, similar to the women's team we're also battling against relegation so I hope we will be as successful I'm just waiting for my train again fresh train to Paris oh and I think it literally just has arrived as I'm speaking So the train has just uh, left Luxembourg city, uh, it's nice and quiet, there's only two other people in the carriage beside me so I thought I'd quickly explain to you uh, what the format uh, of the French league is. So it's a 12 team uh, all play all, so 11 consecutive games, uh, it's a very tough tournament, there are no rest days, no easy games, uh, three teams go down so we'll have to avoid finishing in the bottom three. Um, I will mostly be playing other women players because every team needs to have one women player and um, they also need to have uh, to be French if you wonder why I can play it's because I have a double citizenship. So um, a very challenging 11 days ahead of me um, but I'm looking forward to, to see the guys. We've had the same team for a number of years now and we always have a good time and hopefully we can uh, manage to be as successful as our women's team. arrived at my destination uh, in Chartres. You can see the station there behind me. It's my first time here and I knew very little about the city I have to say. For now I'm off to the hotel, uh, just get a taxi, get some rest, have team dinner and then the hostilities start tomorrow. So I've arrived at last. This is going to be my home for the next 12 nights. I'm quite compact as you can see. Uh, but something I'm happy about is that the bathroom has a bathtub. I'm a big fan of taking baths. find that very relaxing. I'm going to have a hard time fitting all my clothes in here. If you look at the size of my suitcase. And finally look at my lovely view. Isn't that just perfect? So I just got back to the hotel after the first round, didn't go too well, I lost my game against international master Batalini. Um, I haven't looked at it with an engine yet but uh, we did analyze after the game and it seems like on move 17 instead of playing knight e5 which just loses a pawn, uh, if I go knight c4 I think, the, well we both agreed the position uh, seemed to be perfectly fine for me. The team also lost by the smallest of margins, 3.5, 4.5. Um, but we were outrated on almost every board, so we'll have to keep fighting uh, 10 more rounds to go. Day two here at the French League. Uh, weather is a lot nicer today, so we're just uh, going for a walk to the venue that is one of the main perks of our hotel uh, it's just 500 meters away
Uh, we managed to make a draw against a very strong team from Grasse. I won my game, a bit lucky in the end, but for now we're just going to have a celebratory uh, dinner and then I'll show you the lines after. Just looking at my game uh, before going to sleep, I'm going to pick it up on move th uh, 30, where I thought we were just going to shake hands any second. Um, the game up until that point had been up and down. I'd misplayed it slightly by closing the position with d5, uh, which is why my bishop is now um, closed on c2. So on move 30, after king e2, I expected her to just play uh, k uh, queen g4. At which point I would play king f2 and after queen h4, it's just a draw. Uh, instead she surprised me by playing queen h5. Now I got optimistic again and I thought I'll try and do a king one. So I uh, went queen uh, king d2 and after queen g4 I can now play uh, queen f7, threatening uh, mate on f8. So she takes on g2 with check, king d3, e4 is the only move. King c4, and now a move we both missed completely. She had to play queen f3 here uh, on move 34. And after queen f3, it would just have been a complete mess. I would have had to take on a7. And the computer says it's about equal, but in a practical game, especially with her being so long on time, anything could have happened here. Instead, after queen a, uh, e2, the position is almost winning for me. I now get to complete my king run. Uh, by going to b3, queen b5 is the decisive mistake. She had her last chance here to once again play queen f3, but after queen b5, I get to a3. Uh, now she had to go to b8, but it's probably still winning for me. But after queen a5, uh, the game is just over because I have bishop a4 now. She has to defend the knight on f8, so she has to play queen d8. And now I have uh, this knight, nice move, bishop e8, and she cannot save the knight. So she played on for a few more moves, but there was nothing to do. So um, somewhat lucky win for me today. But more important than my win was that it uh, helped the team to hold a draw against a very strong team from Kras. So hopefully we can keep up the good work uh, for the next nine rounds. just finished uh, round three and uh, we have very mixed feelings. We managed to get a draw against uh, Nice, not a strong team, but uh, judging by the positions we had, it's just um, frustrating because we should have won. My game personally was a nightmare. Uh, I played a very stupid move in the opening. I prepared this interesting line where I push Harry on move seven. I was following a game from round one here in the French league, uh, Gajewski against Rugger. But then uh, she surprised me after h5, instead of going h3, which I looked at, uh, she played h4. And when I played uh, f5 a couple of moves later, it's just a stupid move and I thought I would lose in under 20 moves. But then uh, she couldn't finish me off and I fought back. And at some point the position was unclear if on move 24, when we were both quite short on time already, instead of uh, taking back on d4, if I go bishop uh, b four here or bishop b5 whatever stopping her from castling um, then the position is not so clear so yeah a good result uh, on paper but um, judging by the positions very frustrating so off to have dinner now and then an early night finished dinner life is looking up I had some nice pizza a bit of wine and some nice dessert um, so I've come to the conclusion the draw 
was a, a good result for us as a team. Of course, it would have been better to win. I wanted to say a couple of words about our top two boards. Uh, they are really, they have been rocks for us uh, for the last couple of years already. And those two players are Yuri Solodovnichenko from Ukraine and Alexander Donchenko from Germany. Uh, both of them are on two out of three so far. Yuri has a performance of over 2800, Alex has a performance of 2775. Uh, so we really have two heroes on top two boards. Everyone else is performing decently as well. So I'm feeling a lot uh, better now and I'm hoping we can keep it up as a team. Round four is over. I've just come back uh, to my room. I've had an incredible game. Incredible as in this never happens to me. I got my preparation up until move 21. I'm just looking at it now. Uh, this is the line I looked at. I, I, even, I didn't ex even expect d6 on move one. So I can't believe I got it up to, to move 21. So in this position, queen g6, I had this um, on the computer this morning. And here, black, um, I, I just looked at knight d8, but turns out the move he played, queen d4, is, uh, perfect, is fine as well. I mean, the computer still likes white already. Um, then I played knight e4, and now he has to take uh, on f7, just give the exchange back. I take back on f7, queen takes e4, uh, but white is now just a pawn up with a nice position. Instead, in the game, uh, after knight e4, he played d5, and once I get my knight to g5, uh, which I played, the game is just uh, over. It's already a plus three advantage, so I don't think this has ever happened to, uh, to me before, just to play two, uh, two moves on my own. Uh, the team, I think, is also well on the way of getting an important win against Lisieux. And seeing as I got back so nice and early, I'm actually now going to stream uh, on Twitch to talk people to what's been going on in the French League and look at the remaining games. Uh, on of my team. <laughs> Back in the room after round five and the footage you just saw from the restaurant tonight is quite treacherous because we went down 6-2 against a strong team uh, from Bichviller. What can I say about my own game? Really just what a patser I am. I missed a fair few wins today after an interesting middle game. Um, she sacrificed a piece on move uh, 37 with knight takes f6 and after the game both of us thought it's a completely unsound sacrifice but having just looked at it now with an engine uh, I can see that it's actually fine for, for white surprisingly but uh, on move 41, and stake it, instead of taking on g5, she has to go uh, queen g3. In the game, after rook takes g5, it's just completely winning for me. Uh, I had the right idea of trapping her rook, but I didn't do it in the right way. Uh, on move 43, when I played bishop e8, I had to play rook h6, which just basically traps the rook straight away. And then I follow up rook h6 with bishop e8 and uh, bishop f7, as I did in the game. As it was, I think the position is still winning for me, but not so easy. Um, there was actually one more interesting moment in the game on move 53 when I played uh, e3. I was that close to losing the game there. Um, it came within within a second. I think my hand was already over, hovering over the piece. I really wanted to play rook takes d5. For a second I thought, well, it's just game over. I take on d5, king takes, um, e3 check. And I'm just gonna queen but after e3 there's of course just rook takes f3 and I can resign so luckily that didn't happen because I think I might have just shot myself tonight uh, as it was the game went on I went on to queen on e1 and that was the last funny moment of the game because I almost took a queen of the white color <laughs> so of the wrong color and we both looked at each other and started laughing um, maybe it's still it's probably still winning for me after queening but it's not that easy especially with no time on the clock so a draw a very disappointing result on paper it's fine but considering the position I had not really 
Um, but there is no time to commiserate. Tomorrow we have a big game awaiting us, the match against Strasbourg. Um, if we can win that match, I think we should be fairly safe. So yeah, big game. I'm gonna go and get some sleep now and I'll keep you updated about how it goes.